Hi, I'm Mitchell Anikas, a technical writer at DigitalOcean. In this screencast, I'll show you how to create your own droplet or cloud server on DigitalOcean. This is a very quick and easy process, and by the end of it, you'll have your own Linux server that you can use for anything from developing and deploying apps to hosting your own website. For our example, we will create an Ubuntu server. Open a web browser and go to digitalocean.com. If you're not already logged in, click the login link on the top right. Now type in the email address and password that you registered with, then click login. Prior to creating your first droplet, your control panel will look like this. Click the create droplet button. At this point, you must specify the details of the droplet that you want to create. First, select the droplet host name. Because we are creating an Ubuntu server, let's just call it Ubuntu. Then select your cloud server size. On DigitalOcean, there are preset available sizes based on memory, CPU, and storage capacity combinations. We will go with the basic $10 a month option, which gives us one gigabyte of RAM, one processor, and 30 gigabytes of solid state storage. Next, select your region. This determines where your droplet will be created. If you are just starting off, you will probably want to choose a region that is geographically close to you. I live in New York City, so I will choose New York 3. The available settings section is where you can select droplet features such as private networking and IPv6. I would recommend enabling private networking if it is available in the region that you selected. Private networking is useful if you intend to create multiple droplets in the same region that will communicate with each other. You may select any other settings if you wish. Now you must select the image that you wish to install on the new droplet. There are several Linux distributions to choose from, such as Ubuntu, CentOS, and Fedora. Recently, FreeBSD was added as another option. In addition to these plain images, there are several one-click images under the Applications tab. These one-click images come with an application pre-installed. If you want to head start with WordPress or Ruby on Rails, for example, just make the appropriate selection here. As mentioned earlier, we will be creating an Ubuntu 14.04 server. Click back to the Distributions tab and select Ubuntu, then select Ubuntu 14.04 x64. You also have the option to add SSH keys to the admin user of the new droplet that you are creating. This is highly recommended for security purposes as an alternative to password authentication. However, in this screencast, we will not use SSH keys. To proceed, click the Create Droplet button. A 1 GB droplet typically takes less than one minute to create. Once the droplet has been created, you will be taken to the droplet's information page. Here you can find information such as the IP address and other details of the droplet. Let's connect to the droplet via SSH. To connect to a droplet for the first time, you must know its IP address. Select and copy the IP address to your clipboard. Now open your terminal program by pressing Command Spacebar to open Spotlight. Then type in Terminal and hit Enter. If you're using Windows, you will want to use PuTTY instead. To connect to a fresh Ubuntu server for the first time, you must connect as the root user. Type in SSH space root at symbol and then paste in the IP address of the new droplet. Then hit return. The first time you connect to a particular server via SSH, you will see this warning. Type in yes and hit enter to continue. Because we did not add SSH keys while creating the droplet, we will be prompted for the password of the root user. This password can be found in the email account that you registered with. Check your email and look for a new message from DigitalOcean and open it. The email will contain information about your droplet, including the root password. Select and copy the password to your clipboard, then switch back to your terminal program. Paste the password in and hit enter. The first time you log into a droplet, it will attempt to change the root user's password. Paste in the root password again and hit enter. Now supply a new password for root and hit enter. You will be required to confirm the new password by entering it again. Once you're done with that, congratulations, you've just created and logged into your first DigitalOcean droplet. We hope you enjoyed the screencast. If you're looking to learn more about open source software and server administration, be sure to check out the DigitalOcean community for our extensive collection of tutorials at do.co community. See you next time.